Alright, let's fill the romantic void in your life with anime. It's your boy the Saucy Senpai and here are my recommendations for some romantic anime to watch with your special someone or if you're missing it on this special day deemed by Hallmark to be the celebration of love and chocolate. First, let's get this out of the way immediately with Toradora. I don't care how dumb it is, it's entertaining to see the awkwardness of the two main characters try to get their best friends to fall in love with each other only to realize that they were the ones that fell in love. Funny and cute. Next, my love story with Yumada-kun at level 999. It's another rom-com about a girl whose boyfriend dumps her, and she ends up in the arms of a random hottie. She convinces him to be her pretend rebound and make the other man jealous. Spoiler, they fall in love. <laughs> Alright, another classic. A Silent Voice is a love tale of a boy that bullies a girl because she's deaf and kids are dumb. And years pass and then he realizes how much he likes her. Good stuff. And that balcony scene? Oof. Still gives me the shivers. Next, we have Say I Love You, the story of an introvert girl that finds love after she kicks the most popular guy in school down the stairs. Love at first roundhouse? Roadhouse. What a great way to find love. Here's another classic of the genre that stands up to the test of time, Ore Monogatari, or Our Love Story. It's about the hulk of a boy that is in love with the soft-spoken petite girl that loves him too. Neither thinks they're good enough for the other, but they date with a little help of her friends, and it's adorable. Finally, my last pick, it's Wotakoi, or Love is Hard for Ortaku. It's the story again of childhood friends that drift apart only to find themselves reunited, but as adults. Shocking. I know, but this is great because they have adult interests and interactions that are mostly wholesome. The whole show is a vibe, and it's funny as fuck, particularly when three quarters of the main characters are drunk and being dumb. So, those are my picks. Tell me what you think. Comment your favorite below and let me know how wrong I was for living it off. This has been the Saucy Senpai. Happy Valentine's Day. And remember, weebs, keep watching and keep dreaming.